Hi, this is Mark from LongIslandWatch.com, and today we'll do a little bit of accessories. Uh, I'm going to be featuring Stibe bracelets, S-T-A-I-B. Stibe is a brand I've been carrying for eh, maybe three years or so. Mostly a custom bracelet manufacturer. Uh, but I think what happened is over the years, a couple of their bra bracelets became really popular and they basically just started making them to stock. Uh, so, you know, on our website, you'll see there's uh, maybe a dozen or 15 or so bracelets. They're all mesh, um, just uh, different clasps, different finishes, lengths and, uh, and lug widths. Uh, but they pretty much all look generically the same. Uh, I have a couple of them here. I want to show them to you and uh, hopefully try to, you know, maybe match it up to uh, a, a watch. You can see uh, the difference it might make. What makes these special is they are nice, thick, heavy duty mesh. I, like I said, I've never really featured them before. I'm, I'm not sure why. Uh, so uh, let's head on over and, oh, before I do right, the, the wrist check, I'm sorry. So I've got the, uh, the Presage Power Reserve still and uh, Squale Blue on a Squale mesh, actually, which is kind of ironic. Anyway, uh, let's head on over and check them out. Okay, so as I said in the opening, you know, a lot of the bracelets I carry by Stibe are pretty much the same. They're all mesh bracelets. I've got four of them here. Like I said, I carry, I think like, oh, it's gotta be an even number, 14 or 16 or so, whatever. Uh, different bracelets. The principal differences are going to be the type of clasp, either a double push button butterfly, a single fold over deployant, like a dive style buckle. It is going to be the width at the, uh, at the lug, 20 or 22 millimeter, pretty much the sizes that I'm carrying now. I didn't delve into 24 yet. Um, and then the length. Uh, and the lengths I'll go over in a minute, but they are basically 130, 150, and 170 millimeter. Um, I have deplasticed um, two of them entirely, and then the other two just half, just so you can kind of see the differences. I will pick up uh, this one here, and uh, let's go through it. Okay, so we should discuss cost, right? So these will all vary between around $150 to $250, uh, depending on the length the style of clasp and the, uh, the lug width or thickness. So this is one of their double push button deployant cl um, clasp bracelets. As you can see, you, you push these two buttons in and the clasp deploys like that. More of a dress style, if you will. Um, you could put this on a dive watch if you wanted, but it is conventionally more of a dress style. I'll zoom in in a minute, um, but it is extremely thick. They're all like this, high quality mesh. The spring bar tubes at the end have a nice thickness to them. Uh, 1.8, 1.9 millimeter dia uh, inner diameter. So you can put the thick spring bars in it uh, that we sell, the 1.78 uh, millimeter diameter. Spring bars will fit through there. I do not think a Seiko fat spring bar will fit. Probably not. Um, but this is, uh, I don't think I mentioned this before, I'm sorry. Uh, the other difference is they can either be polished or they can be satin. So this is from the polished variety. You can see in the viewfinder, or I can see in the viewfinder, you can see on screen, it's a, basically a mirror finish. You can see my glove reflecting off of it. Everything is polished, including the mesh. I'll hold this up next to a satin one in a minute, but basically it's the same brace on either side. So you may say, well, how the heck do I size this thing? Well, when you open it, these two links are actually removable. They are standard removable links. Check that out. Each one's about five millimeters long. You have four of them. So uh, you can come down about 20 millimeters. So your, your fine adjustment range is about five millimeters, which is decent. Um, there is no way for you to do a fine adjustment here. So it's five millimeters or bust. So when you look at the length of the bracelet on the website, pay attention um, because I do try to make it as clear as possible. If a bracelet is listed as 130 millimeters in this variety, I will tell you that the range of adjustment, this one would go down to 110 millimeters in length uh, by taking out one of those five millimeter links at a time. Likewise, if you needed extra links, I guess we could probably get them. You can make them longer, but if you need it longer, you should just get a longer bracelet. Um, this is a really nice bracelet. What I'm going to do at the end is I will put it on my, whoops, <laughs> my Presage uh, Power Reserve, because I think it's going to dress up nice, just to kind of give you an idea of what it might look like. Now, 
I want to just bring up its satin finished brother, if you will. Same, ex these two are the same exact bracelet except for the finishing. So I want you just to look at the differences. Don't look below this point here on this bracelet because the plastic is still on it. Uh, but look at the look at the bottom, the removable links. See how this is a high polish. This is a uh, satin, a brushed finish, not a blasted finish. It's a brushed finish. But they've also done the mesh. Look at the mesh difference. In the viewfinder, I really don't see it. But when I look at it in real life, I can see it. It's pretty clear to me that this is a high polish. This is a dull satin finish. It's up to you which one you want and whichever one matches the watch better. And then even the tube at the end uh, you know, carries the same finish. Let's, uh, let's zoom in on this guy. So there's that polished mesh. Look at the quality of that. Is that not beautiful? It really is. Look at the end. Now, Stibe is a German company, and the bracelets, I think some of them here might have it. Um, they used to all be stamped Germany uh, inside. They've kind of gotten away from that. I, I, I can guess what it means. Um, you can guess what it means, too. Uh, I'm assuming that the mesh they probably source now. Um, they don't make it internally. And they probably assemble everything themselves in Germany. I'll be honest with you, I cannot tell the difference. Um, I didn't even know that they stopped doing it. You simply cannot see the difference in the quality of the mesh. The mesh is amazing. I'm going to now bring up the satin one, just so you can see again what the difference is when it's satin finished. Look at the side. Look at that. Look at the finishing. Look at the quality of the mesh. Really, really nice. Let's, um, let's move on to the single fold over deployment one. So now this is the other variety of clasp. This is the single fold over flip lock deployment. This is high polish. Whoops, I actually meant to start with the, with the uh, satin one because I totally deplasticed the satin one. So again, we see the clasp is done in a satin brush finish as is the mesh, as is the end tube. This is a 22 millimeter. It tapers to 20 at the buckle. I believe all the 20s are box cut. Um, they're 2020, not an 18 clasp. That was a 22 I just showed you, wasn't it? Uh, here's a 20. Uh, it's, a, it's, a, it's a square cut, 20 here, 20 here. This is a 22 tapering to a 20. Beautiful clasps. Now, unlike before where we had removable links, none of these are removable, but we have a micro adjustment. So here's your micro adjust. You can go from here all the way to here. And then this one also has three positions on this side from here to here. Uh, again, I have it on the website, the range of adjustment. The range of adjustment is, I want to say it's 20 millimeters total, but it's kind of like it, it can go open another 12 and a half or down a seven, seven and a half. It's all self-explanatory. You'll figure it all out. Um, but again, just pick your size according. And remember, when you're picking the size of a bracelet, you're just picking the length of the bracelet. You're not including the length of the head. The head of the watch, in this case, I don't know what this is, 48, 49 millimeters from here to here. So you need to consider that in your calculation with your wrist circumference. Let's check out the clasp. It is, like I said, a single fold over flip lock, deployant, awesome clasp. Look at the machining on the clasp. Uh, almost like a prolage finish, right, with the uh, end mill marks. Whoops, look at that. It sticks to my glove. Uh, just really nicely done. Extremely, extremely beautiful. Very solid. And then what I want to show you before, what I started to show you, this is the same thing in the high polish. I did not remove the plastic from here. There is no diver's extension hidden under here. People sometimes think that. There is none. Um, it's just a standard single fold over class. But look at the high polish. Yes, it's going to pick up scratches like crazy the second you put your wrist down. But it looks gorgeous, right? So same thing with the, you know, that strap code uh, polish center link gold bristle I showed you uh, in another video. It's going to pick up scratches, but maybe, you know, maybe you like the look. Super thick spring bars. And uh, a, a detail on here that I kind of caught and didn't discuss. You'll see that the tubes are undercut just a little bit so that you can remove and replace spring bars easily. And that was present on the double butterfly one as well there. Because, you know, if you make... A bracelet like this and you don't have an undercut on the tube well how do you take the spring bar off <laughs> you can't and it's a permanent attachment which is never good uh, so what I'd like to do now is uh, I will hold this like this show it to you and I'm going to replace this bracelet uh, this <laughs> this strap with the 20 millimeter uh, bracelet I showed you before and we'll put it on the wrist and we'll see how it looks I'm not going to size it but just kind of give you you know a little comparison so that's the before shot. Love the watch. Looks great. And there is the after. 
Is that awesome? So just for reference, guys, this is, my wrist is six and three quarters, as you know. This is the 150 millimeter bracelet. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm positive that that's what, that's what this one is. Uh, I have to remove, I'd say about a link, maybe a link to get it to be comfortable. Uh, for those of you with smaller wrists, uh, you can go, go down to 130 millimeter that we have. For those with larger wrists, uh, they offer a 170, which is considerably, considerably larger. Again, this is um, 150 on my six and three quarter inch wrist, but of course it is going to depend on the size of your watch. But if you had a, you know, up to about an eight inch wrist, I would say these bracelets, the 170 millimeter bracelets will fit. Again, it depends on the size of the head. You know, that's part of the equation. Do not forget that, but oh man, that looks awesome. I love it. So I guess one thing before I close, and you know, when I wanted to do an example watch to put this on, I was thinking, you know, I was going to put it on a, an Orient Sun and Moon, but I'm like, it's a 200 and change dollar watch, and I'm going to put a $200 bracelet on it. I don't think that's, I mean, if you want to do it, it's fine. It's reason, you know, it's not reasonable to me at least. Um, that might be more suited. We have bracelets by another company called Vomer, which is another German company, doing very similar things. The mesh might not be as thick. Um, but the bracelets are, you know, anywhere from $49 up to, uh, you know, 150 or so, you know. Um, so I went to my own personal presage. This is what a five or $600 watch, um, you know, fitting of a $200 bracelet, you know, that's for you to decide. I love it. I think it looks awesome. I would do it. Um, but you know, a two, three, $4,000 watch, a $200 bracelet makes perfect sense. Um, I just want to kind of throw that nugget out there. I do realize that, you know, <laughs> it's the price of a watch or more than the price of a watch in some instances. Anyway, this has been Mark from LongIslandWatch.com. Please like the video if you enjoyed it. Please subscribe to the channel if you have not done so. If you have any questions or comments, put them down below and I will be sure to address them as soon as I can. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.